Once your TA has approved your test, you'll be going through and answering questions one through five. I'll walk you through those steps right now, but feel free to work ahead. Remember that this page asks you to again confirm your information and your settings to make sure that they apply to you as a student. Since this information is provided by the test system, there's nothing really to change here unless you notice a mistake, in which case you should contact your test administrator. At the bottom, click Yes, Start My Test. Here, once again, you'll see the instructions for how to take the test. Unless you feel you need to review them, go ahead and click Begin Test Now. Once you're to the math test, you'll notice that although the layout looks similar, there's different ways of answering math questions than there are ELA questions. In particular, this question asked me to drag the graph to show this equation right here. So for this problem, students would need to click and drag the uh, graph of the equation in order to answer their question, and then they can move on. Please go through the next questions, two through five, and figure out what is expected of you in each of those problems. Again, please do not focus on the actual correct answer, but simply on what do you need to do, click, drag, etc., in order to answer the question, using the next button to go ahead and proceed to each of the questions. Once you reach question or the end of question five, you'll notice that it gives you a warning screen and telling you that you've reached the end of a segment. The segment you just completed was a no calculator portion of the test. And so as a result, you'll need to confirm your answers for this prior to moving on. Once you've moved on, you won't be able to answer any of the previous questions again. So once you're ready, which hopefully should be right now, go ahead and click the next button. You'll see that it provides students with another warning that you won't be able to come back to this part of part of the test. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Yes. Once you've moved on to the next portion, you'll notice that there are new buttons available as well as calculators and other things. Go ahead and continue working through problem 12, again focusing on what you're supposed to do to answer a problem, not necessarily what the correct answer is, and work through, like I said, to problem 12, and then you can go ahead and pause and end your test. One last thing I'd like to point out before we move on into test administration is that when you reach the end of the test, in this case question 23 of 23, and you hit next, this window pops up notifying you that you've reached the end of the test and that in this case, instead of going on to next, you need to hit the end test button. Students taking the test will then hit OK. And when they're ready, they'll hit the end test button. Another warning pops up to let students know that they are ending their test and if they'd like to continue working, they need to hit no and continue working. Otherwise, they can click yes to end and submit their test. Now, just in case, they provide one last warning before you can submit a test. On this warning page, they also will notify, if you, notify you if you've marked any questions for further review along the way. You can review those questions by clicking the drop down menu and seeing that some of them are marked, but maybe you remember that you wanted to revisit some of the other questions that you didn't mark. This was one of the questions where I hit that little flag button to mark it for further review. If I'm completely happy with my answers, then I'll hit submit test and I'll be done. They'll ask one more time, do you want to submit the test just to be sure? And once you hit yes, they'll go ahead and give you a finished uh, message and tell you to log out by clicking log out. At this point, the students will be taken to the sign-in screen and they'll be done with their test session for this session. That's it. Now we'll move on into how to administer a test.